today we're going to eat at Vincent's in Mount Dora. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be able to showcase as much as Vincent's as I want to, but we're going to head into Vincent's um, in Mount Dora. It's a wonderful Italian restaurant that we've found that we like to go to. We have never been disappointed. The food portions are very, very, very large. I mean, when I tell you that you get chicken parmesan that's as big as your two hands, you get chicken parmesan as big as your two hands. So for me, it's enough for three meals in the end. I always take leftovers home. I eat it for supper the rest of the night and I usually take it to lunch the next day. We actually have some relatives in from out of town and that's where they wanted to go. So I don't want to showcase too much. Um, I don't want to put them in the video, so just bear with me. We will go back to Vincent's again and we'll do another review where we can show more of it in more in depth. But I want to give you just a general idea about, about the place. Again, I highly recommend it. That's our opinion that we have found the best place for Italian in the area. There's a couple other ones as well, but stay tuned and join us. Thanks for watching. Vincent's is located at 5914 North Orange Blossom Trail, Mount Dora. Their hours are Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., closed on Monday, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. They have a large parking lot area, and they offer dinner and a show through the Something New Studio Events. We've been to one of these. It was a trailer park one, and it was really cool and awesome. They have 80s and all other kinds as well. So let's walk on in. And as you walk in, you have the reception area in front of you. To the right, you have some dining. And way back through that entrance is actually where the dinner and a show is put on and more seating. So that's for special occasions. If you walk over here to the left, this is more of the dining when you get up here, there's a ramp to the right with some like fine dining and there is to the left like where there's some atrium. So we're going to follow her up here and we're going to sit in the fine dining area tonight. So straight to the left back there in the corner is where the bathrooms are. There's a lot of booth seatings here and there's some tables and chair seating and we're going to sit right here. So let's take a look at the menu. We've got our appetizers and salads and soups. We also have our baked pastas, pasta, and more. We got our brick oven pizzas and calzones. We haven't actually had the pizza, but we've heard it's really good and it looks good. We've got our chicken and seafood on this side of the menu. And we have our subs, wings, and all kinds of side items, desserts, and beverages. We also have the house wines, wines, and beers. So here we have our side salad with our dressing and the amazing garlic knots. Back to the side salad and the baked lasagna, which is amazing. And the Cajun chicken Alfredo pasta with spinach. So let's cut into this baked lasagna and look at that huge, huge meatballs inside of there. Homemade meatballs. This is really, really scrum to de -lumptious. So just finished our meal. Um, absolutely amazing. Definitely have leftovers for supper and something to take for lunch to work tomorrow. Um, I had the baked lasagna, which was so good. I've had it before. It seemed like they changed it up a little bit. They put these huge meatballs, like big, big meatballs inside of the lasagna. Lots of cheese and sauce. It's just oh, amazing. It is so, so good. Like, I can't tell you how good it is. It is so good. And the garlic knots are to die for. They're nice and fresh. They're dripping with butter. They have fresh garlic on top, lots of fresh garlic that's like crunchy, not like the minced jar garlic. So, to die for. 
we all had a side salad. Side salads are really good. Their raspberry vinaigrette house dressing is phenomenal. Um, Scott and his uncle both got the Cajun chicken Alfredo with spinach. Very delicious. Uh, like I said, the meals are great. The size portions are wonderful. The service is exceptional. We went during a weekday, so it was actually not as busy as usual. Sometimes the inside's a little bit loud because of the acoustics and the way that the ceiling is arched and stuff, but it was nice and quiet. It was a great place to get together for a couple hours with some family that was in from out of town. So yeah, absolutely. Comment below, you know, let me some comments. Tell me some places that y'all would like me to try that, like I said, we've only been in the Florida area for going on four years now so I'm up to try anything we're not really that picky of eaters like to expand our horizons a little bit let me know some restaurants that you think are to die for that we just shouldn't be missing out on that we haven't known about um, subscribe if you'd like anything that Scott and I tell you is just our opinion of something maybe it's not your cup of tea but it's ours and we kind of try to go with some things that are more budget friendly um, we do get some expensive meals out as well a lot of times we like the atmosphere more than anything so yes please like comment subscribe thank you for watching and continuing to support our channel see you next time